It's time for another video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you five standalones that I have yet to read. Now, I've picked hardback books because have you seen my paperback books? How tight they are packed in? I can't get any of them out apart from the ones at the top, and they are my most recent purchases. And I would like to select books that I have had for like a few months over a year, over two years, that I'd love to share with you guys, um, just to sort of like sprinkle it out again, because it might not have been spoken about for a while, and you know, or, oh, you know what guys, I'm just, I'm just going to get started before rambling. The first book that I'm going to share with you, is not that long been out, I suppose, like a few months it's been out, but I haven't got around to reading it, because I don't know. And it's one of my favourite authors, and it's just, it's just inexcusable. You just should tell me, Katie, you, stu you stupid woman. Why haven't you read it yet? This book is The Problem With Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Now, obviously, this is like, I believe it's like her latest book. <laughs> it's like her latest standalone book, anyway. Um, but I haven't read it yet, and I've had really, really good things about it. Like, really, really good bloody things about it. Why haven't I read this? I'm absolutely stupid. I don't know. I really don't know. I, I have no excuse whatsoever why I haven't got around to reading this. I, I love the cover to this as well. It's just, it's so pretty and it's so beautiful. And oh, you know what, when you hear really good things about a book and you buy it and you're like, ah yeah, I'm gonna read that. I haven't. And I just, I feel so, so stupid for not. Oh guys, just honestly. I need to read it, I need to read it, and now since actually like showing this in this video to you guys, I feel stupid, I'm probably going to read it soon, you know what, let's just, let's just start it now, ooh, bookmark. The next book that I'm sharing with you guys is another book that I've heard freaking amazing things about, and this book is Faking Normal by Courtney C. Stevens. I believe that Jesse from Jesse the Reader read this, and he said that it's really, really good, and I'm just like, oh my god, and it's like apparently really emotional, really raw, and it's just beautiful in that sort of way, and I don't know why I haven't read it, and I'm just, I, I, again, I feel so stupid, like, why haven't I when I've heard really good things about it, so... Oh my god guys, just, I need to read it. So I discovered that one of the original books that I chose for this video is actually part of a series, so I had to select another one, and I chose Weightless by Sarah Bannon, which I've actually owned for over a year now, definitely. I either got it in 2014 or 2015, and I remember buying it from Waterstones. I remember at the time being really, really intrigued by this book, and that it sounds just definitely interesting, a really interesting contemporary, and I definitely, definitely need to read it, especially because it's like over a year old. The next book is another apparently heart-wrenching book. This is The Last Time We Say Goodbye by Cynthia Hand. Now this is one of the books that I bought before I actually moved out into my flat at the very, very early beginning of the year before dinosaurs ruled the earth. And I've just heard really like, heart-wrenching things about this book and that it is really good and really emotional and that I will probably cry. So that's why I got it. I was like, you know what, everybody says it's bloody good, so why not bloody get it? This last book that I'm going to share with you, I have owned for so long. I've had this book ever since I was a child and I'm putting this on because I actually, it is signed, I believe it's signed, um, I won it in a competition when I was younger, so yeah, it's a signed book, and yeah, I haven't read it, and I've had it for years, and I think it's just because I've treasured it, it was like my first ever signed book, pretty much, um, so I was just like very, very protective of it, I didn't want to read it because of it, and so I was looking through like my special shelf the other day, and I was like, I was sorting it out, I got rid of some books as well, and I was like, why is this in here? Like, I, I need to read it, I haven't read this yet. So, this book is called Stop the Train, it's by Geraldine McCoffrian. It's a winner of a Carnegie Medal, and apparently it's a wonderful book. It's a wonderful sort of children's book. I don't really know what it's about, I think it's like a book that's told, like, in the past. Yeah, so it says here, 1893, and I believe it's like a children's sort of book. Um, it's a... I, I, I think it's got something to do with the train in it. I'm, I'm just imagining it. I mean, look, she's trying to stop the train right there. Hence the title, Stop the Train. Um, so, I guess I just need to 
stop myself from not reading this book and getting it read. It's a really short book actually, but the writing is, like the font and the writing is just normal. So considering it's a children's book, you know, um, but it, you know, it's a fairly short book. There's less hundred and two hundred fifty pages in it, so it shouldn't take me long to read it. But this is why I'm putting it in this video, guys, because it needs to be read, and it's inexcusable. And at least if I got this read, then I can be like, you know what? I've owned this book for years, and I've read it now, finally. So there you have it, guys. These are all the books that I have mentioned in today's video with you guys. I believe these are all standalones. I hope none are going to turn into series, but if they do, I am sorry, but at the present time, I believe they're just all standalones. So if you have read any of these books that I've mentioned in today's video, let me know down below in the comments and we can start a conversation about it. But if there's any book in particular that you think I would definitely enjoy the most out of all of them, uh, or if you would like me to read next, then let me know down below as well. For example, if you like Katie, The Problem With Forever, read that next. I will listen to you guys. If I get a lot of people saying the same comment, I tend to listen to people and I'm like, hey, you know what? Everybody wants me to read this book, so I'm going to do it. But that's all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Give me a big thumbs up if you have. Let me know if there's any other video requests that you would like me to do down below in the comments. But other than that, guys, keep smiling, keep reading, and be happy. And I'll see all of you wonderful, awesome people in my next video. Bye!